Welcome to the Arc Reactors. I'm John. I'm Greg. And we're in person this time around, which is really <laughs> yeah. nice. It's crazy that there was no lag between that. I usually mm -hmm. have to wait for him to finish John, and then I'm like, okay, now I say I'm Greg, but it's a good time. All natural today, and we're coming off of, what, our fourth one? I mean, yeah, yeah. It's count at what, this point. How many have we done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, number four. Number, number four, four win, which is like such a blessing, and something we didn't expect going into the race, I think, that it would be like these many in a row especially you know those two eighths earlier on i know well honestly before coming into the race i <laughs> unrealistically had the goal i wanted to be the first team to win every leg <laughs> <The amazing laughs> <No. race. laughs> and then leg one eh, that's out the race. so <laughs> then now we got eighth and we got eighth and we're like okay we're just trying to survive yeah that point's just survival but now you can see our minds start to shift towards just keeping that streak alive so yeah. it was a pretty straightforward leg generally like i think when we were in like one of Slovenia, even Germany, there was a lot going on, a lot packed in. This one, we had just a roadblock, a route info, and a detour. That's pretty much it. Yeah, it really was just one of those kind of classic legs. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Yeah, the, the, yeah, exactly. The same amount of roadblocks, same amount of detours. Was yeah. a classic amazing race right? leg. Yep, exactly. So we end up ripping our clue, and to start out, we're supposed to go back to Congress Square, which for you really keen-eyed viewers is where we picked up our cars when we first got to Slovenia. <laughs> so... We knew where to go from there, and then it turned out to be a roadblock. I don't know how many we had split between us at that point, but I think we saw it was like some running, some navigation, which uh, I felt pretty comfortable with. It so. was that. It was the navigation, because Johnny's mm -hmm. better at navigation, because when he said we got back to Congress Square, he got us back to Congress Square. Yeah. It was really awesome. But yeah, he's better at the navigating. So I we kind of knew it was going to be something with navigating and running. Johnny's faster and has better stamina, so... Um, yeah, that was definitely your challenge. Yeah, and ended up no running was involved. <laughs> it was yeah, like right. as slow as you can walk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we ended up, uh, I ended up choosing it, taking that wooden piece, taking it to the shop. You saw how it played out, pretty much just kind of intricately putting it on. Um, they had the example, which you couldn't touch. It was kind of annoying. I wanted to like see what was behind, but you really had to just like examine it, no touchy. And I realized also that there were going to be some pieces that were pretty loose. So I kind of ordered them onto a more secure side and put a heavier thing on to make sure they wouldn't jingle off while I was fast walking. And then when I got to the destination, I would rearrange them back into the like more vulnerable spot. And that's exactly what I did. And you just kind of saw that play out. There was one guy who, yeah, who said that it was all the way in Germany. And at first it was like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. And I was like, oh, maybe he knows exactly what he's talking about. And he's just trolling. Uh, Do you think which, he was actually troll, like intentionally trolling? I don't know. I feel like there's no way he can know that that's like a square in Germany, right? Like, does he live in Germany? And he's just like, oh, that just happens to be my hometown. Or like, yeah, maybe it looked German or something. Like, that'd be a weird troll to do. But your response was funny. Johnny was like, okay, I'll think about that. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> it worked out. Got there, returned the Krosny, I forget what it's called. Got the check, came to Gregory. Coasting. Coasting, coasting, coasting. Coasting. Um, got some directions to a cave, which I think we were both pretty amped about. Yeah. But on the way to the cave, we hit the heaviest of traffic. Standstill traffic. I mean, it was one of those traffics where, you know, we were just really sitting in the center of the highway. Like, nobody was moving. And so, you know, that's time to ask people for directions. So we actually got out of our car, left our car there, and started asking people for directions and just any little information that we can gather while our car was literally sitting there. And we were so worried because we didn't know where any other team was. Yeah. And we were thinking, like, if any other team didn't hit this traffic, they're going to be way ahead of us because we were probably there for, like, half an hour. Yeah. Oh, totally. There, and there's a world where, like, we got directions at a particular time when that road was clear and then it wasn't clear and that some other team behind us Google Maps would be like, oh, don't take that road to the boys' talk. Take this, uh, take this other one because now that's clear. Exactly. Um, thankfully, we got to the dragons and we were the first ones, but that was a total reality. It that was standstill. Really still. Was. And yeah. finding Pivka, Pivka Cave was tough. I mean, Robin and Chelsea, you kind of saw that they they passed the sign that said camping, Pivka Camp this way. And sometimes when you're on the race, you know, when you're watching from home, you're just thinking like, it's right there. Like, you know it's right there. As a viewer, you know it's right there. But even Johnny and I saw camping and we were like, ah, is that it? Like, we're not really camping. I do agree. I do think like you have to go for it though. Like if if you even think that something's it, it's much better to go for it. Check it out. Maybe mm -hmm. waste five minutes rather than going way far out of your way and then having yeah. to come back. Yeah. But it was a little bit tougher. Yeah, it was a little tough. Uh, we ended up finding it. We even actually went to the wrong cave as well that Robin and Chelsea went to. I don't know the name of it, but we were like, we know this isn't the right cave. We yeah. know it isn't. But we still went to the parking lot. Got directions from there. You can recover pretty quickly. 
But it, yeah, it was tough to find it. Once we got there, it was, of course, great to get there first, get so our headlamps, good. come down. You heard all of our little giddy reactions when we got <laughs> to the cave. It was just like nice and chilly, uh -huh. mystical. Definitely, I can see the lore of dragons living there. Yeah, and know? it definitely was one of those amazing race settings that you kind of see on the show where, you know, a lot of times, or some of the times in the amazing race, you're in cities and, you know, you're kind of like driving in a car, things that you kind of do on a nor normal day to day basis. But, you know, there's sometimes where they go and they like ice climb a glacier or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. It felt like one of those where yeah. it was like, okay, I am on the amazing race. Like, yeah. I am in the depths of a cave alone really going for it, which yep. was, it was, it was so great. Yeah, and as we're going in, we're like, oh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna like, like climb, go spelunking, something like that. And also, it said to like search for your next clue. Sure. So as we were going down what Phil said was eight football fields, we're looking at every little like crevice that's happening, just making sure that they didn't hide the clues. We thought it'd be more of a search challenge. We're always diligent for those search challenges. <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. And then like, you know, we get there and we see some giant clue box and we're like, okay, we're chilling. And then we find out we're not doing anything really like adventure-y. We're just doing a puzzle, not just a puzzle, but a puzzle of a dragon. Which we were pretty excited about because that's, that. I would say that's pretty much our strong point, definitely, is at least as far as like some of the other teams. Physical too, but definitely, um, definitely the puzzle side. And it was, it was fun because it was like a life-size puzzle and it was such a cool environment. Like having that dragon spinning in like the dark luminous cave and you know, like the lights kind of set up on the outsides. It was, it was really cool. Um, and kind of our strategy, like you heard on the race, was, kind of, was to build from the ground up, mm -hmm. which uh, yeah, I guess is how, how we usually build any puzzles. Like you start from the base and you yeah. kind of build up. But it was fun to hear other people's strategies. Like I think one other team started from the front, like they started from the head. Yeah, the back. never would have thought about never that. Never would have thought about that. Yeah. yeah, I was, it's, there's no right answer, I guess, as long as we're able to do the dragon. I think we did the right things. It was fun. It was tough to get the pieces in. Like, I don't know what, like, amazing race artists are building this stuff. Like, I don't think this is something you just buy off the shelf. So I'm sure there are, they're making six custom dragon puzzles for us so i don't think they're gonna be perfect but i remember us just trying to shove this stuff in they gave us a hammer to be able to really chuck it in you heard joel and garrett's roar in order to get the power to do it so it, it was a little bit of it wasn't a handheld challenge but it was pretty fun and then also like i had some intricacies the tail was kind of neat like yeah. figuring out that felt really cool um hearing that your dragon will never fly was pretty brutal uh and we got to fly eventually we got to fly eventually um, yeah. but overall, pretty fun challenge, yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty fun challenge. Yeah, I mean, the tail was, was pretty tough. That was definitely the tougher part of it. Um, yeah, hearing your dragon never fly, that's just not what you want to hear in a challenge like that. Uh, like, uh, one of those challenges where there's so many moving pieces, you know, it's almost like Bars Back to the Mural Challenge from episode, like, four mm -hmm. or something, where the guy was like, no! Yeah. Because we no. just, because that was the, you know, we, we gave it a shot, we said, hey, can we get a check? He said, nope, this isn't right. And then it was, you know, back to debugging time. But luckily we were able to figure it out on the next one. Like yeah, it wasn't it was anything weird. too intricate. It was like we just mm. were straight up not attaching a piece, which yep. is good for him for spotting out. Yeah, <laughs> for real, for real, yeah. yeah. I'm curious how many tries it took other teams. I don't, well, we don't really know because yeah. you know, we're off by that point. Uh, I think but, everyone else got it like pretty much on their first try. Which at least how they like, showed it. I don't yeah. know if it was like, you know, the checks and the yeah. checks. So yeah. we don't know. Uh, but we got out of there. Still no signs of, I think, Todd Ashley or Robin and Chelsea at that point. So we know we're pretty sitting pretty... For not getting eliminated but we're still you know vulnerable for first at any point so yeah. we get out of there a different route than when we came in and we end up actually here's a hot trick for when you go on the race uh we ended up asking the same parking attendant for directions as we asked to get to the caves and by doing that a we knew he'd be down because he was already <laughs> down before and then b we didn't have to get waivers again so um it was pretty straightforward to just kind of go up and ask since it was the same road going back. Yeah, because that's the hardest part is like finding someone. When you find someone who's down to give you directions, down to sign the waiver, like down to do it all, like you gotta, you gotta cherish those. People. Yeah, run it back if you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was a long drive. It was a long. Drive. It was a long drive. It was like it kind of felt like when we were in Germany and we were at um, the Burg Reinstein and we decided to drive to Cologne. It's like really like. Over an hour yeah. drive. Like, that was like two, three hours. Yeah, drive. it was, was a long. long drive. It, it was like at some point we we're like we're gonna hit like Italy or Croatia. We're like gonna we, go. We were on the country. border. We we're, were like the border. pretty much on the border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we we're hitting the water. I don't think either of us knew Slovenia was on the water like that. So uh, just jarring at first, but that's where we shine. That's, that's where we that's shine. The thing. That's yeah. where, I don't remember getting too lost during that either. Like uh -huh. I remember it was it was pretty straightforward. It, it wasn't was. anything and too crazy. We didn't ask anyone else for directions. 
until we got to the Amazing Race Arrow that yeah. they had. Yeah. And even from there, we didn't ask anyone. We That's just kind of like figured it out. We got there one and done. The longer the drive, the more time you take on those notes because it's just going to like pay itself forward. Yeah, yeah. Like you'd yeah. rather spend the extra, honestly, five minutes. Just spend an extra five minutes to save That's yourself good. maybe 30 to an hour yeah. on the drive. Yeah. But yeah, it was cool because we went from the mountains of Slovenia, like up in the mountains, like, you know, gliding and, you know, going into caves, all that kind of stuff. To yeah, the 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 ocean side of Slovenia, mm -hmm. which was so pretty. It, it did look like Italy. I mean, Slovenia is right on the border of Italy. Yeah, it's and, all the same stuff. Yeah. yeah, it was it was really pretty. Yeah, I don't know anything about like Yugoslavia. It might have been Italy at some point. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Nineteen ninety one. Carved. Yeah, and we ended up getting it to, to this like yeah, Fonda Fish Farms. Rip our clue, first place. Get changed for our water activities. And I mean, you you heard it on TV, like needle in the haystack when you're number one. Uh, there's just more for you to choose from. So I ended up doing that and was also pretty straightforward. It was pretty straightforward. I will say with the detour, if go looking back, if we had known what the two detours were, I may have pushed for cleaning off the thing. Because cleaning mm. off the, uh, whatever, the barnacles that they had mm -hmm. was even more straightforward. I mean, ours would at least, like, you know, people got tripped up. Mm -hmm. right? it was, if you really didn't read your clue mm -hmm. right or we didn't know what to look for, like we didn't know what the Amazing Race flag was gonna, or what like the marked buoys were gonna look for. So that was kind of a tough one. But yeah, I mean, looking back on it, yeah, scraping the barnacles off. Pretty straightforward. Really I will yeah. say like, here and Todd, he had some battle scars from that. True, he I did hear about that. And he was like, my hands are, are done after those chains. So it's, but I, I think for quickness, yeah, it was like, I, honestly, we would have killed that at one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at least being in, in first place. And so we ended up doing that with the kayaks. Granted, we did have a bit of a learning curve with what was the marker for the Amazing Race. You know, usually it's a flag. You want to look out for that. Gregory had a keen eye for that in Germany when we were doing the locks. He was mm. like, there's an Amazing Race ribbon. Sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's something else. So we saw, like, a black buoy. We saw a buoy with, like, a little red paint on it. Just, like, these different colors. We're like, that's it. That's it. We get there, and there's, like, no muscles. But just like the race planners in 10, you see it, and you go, oh, that's, that's it. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. You know it when you see it. Right? I am curious if, because yeah, we found a few that were so close to it, and they, yeah. I think they even had some muscles. They, yeah, I think there were like, yeah, there was some, the farm was using them functionally for something else. Right. Yeah, but it was. Yeah, so they had yeah. some, they had some red herrings for sure. Yeah. And John and I, you know, we were like, oh, should we just go for it? And we are like, nah, let's just like keep looking. And, and yeah, like he said, once we, once you find it, you find it. You're you like, oh, it. Wait, this is it. Yeah. And there were a lot of buoys too. Like genuinely when we first got there, there, there was like our field of buoys and then some other ones around and just a little confused on where to go. So yeah, that wasn't a completely clear, like, like mission for what to do there. And yeah. you saw it with Rob and Corey too. Like, I think they were already trying to find this stuff, but then didn't get through the clue either. And we didn't realize until we were actually taking off that they had messed up. And I think at that point, it's just like seeing second go farther and farther away. From yeah. Them. So it's like, all right, let's just get to this castle. Yeah, we really didn't know that they messed up. I mean, there was yeah. at one point when we were coming back, I think I said, like, don't show them what the buoy is. Because we didn't want to show them what the buoy looked like. Because mm -hmm. that's half the, that's, I would say, like, 80% yeah. of the challenge. Just, like, yeah. finding what the buoy looked like. So we, we weren't, like, trying not to help them. Um, but yeah, we didn't know that they messed up on the muscles. We mm -hmm. didn't know about that until after the leg was finished. Yeah. Like we were like, oh, did they not grab the muscles? And we were like, okay, they'll just go back at the muscles and they'll be fine. Yeah. But the 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 you know uh, story that they had to do afterwards, yeah, that was that was tough. I think yeah. we might have even if we were that far ahead of them at that point, we might have even said something to them because you know they're our boys. I know. Yeah, yeah. Do our second one and be like, by the way, it has a red, yellow red. <laughs> like, yeah. Just, like, like, by the way, you gotta get the muscles. Yeah, because uh -huh. Anne Lee helped out, which was kind of nice. She um, was telling them once they got to the barnacles, sure. like a good technique, yeah, yeah which was pretty yeah. good. It was also fun running into Joel and Garrett because <laughs> they were like, hey, this is the first time I've seen you like on the race in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah so you here, I guess. Um, and they ended up getting second, so they really they really made some progress on that leg. They really did. Yeah, yeah. Stephen and Lee really did too. I mean, mm -hmm. one, we talked about it, both Stephen and Lee and um, Robin and Chelsea, their, their story arcs, this this leg was was incredible, especially yeah. Robin and Chelsea. They were yeah. a delightful, delightful. Leg. It was yeah. so good to see because they are delightful. Yeah, and yeah. that was our experience with them. I think for most of the race. Yeah. So, so it was yeah, good that they got them. yeah that they got that cut. And then also Stephen and Lee. I mean, crazy the the jump that they had. I mean, they were de they did a whole express pass last time, and then they jumped up to what mm -hmm. third, second, yeah. or third, or something like that. So yeah. Shout out to them. Yeah. Great. Not to mention their their U turn, like still surviving. Very they, strong team. 
Can't kill them. Yeah. Can't kill them. They're like a little cockroach. You just can't get can't get rid of them. It's always there. They're always not there. gonna get rid of them. We love our cockroaches. So. We do. <laughs> then so then we got to the castle. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. We just kept climbing. We were driving and just making altitude until we got to like the highest point in the area and got to overlook the water, other countries. Um, they really know how to pick them with these pit stops sometimes. And yeah. you see a little old Phil with those little old ladies and checking in four times in a row. The old ladies, they were, they were into it too. They, were like, into they it, took yeah. their job seriously. They were yeah. very excited to be there. Uh, we were too. So. We were too, yeah. And even with Robin and Chelsea getting there late, I'm sure Phil in production was like, Okay, looks like they're gonna come in a little later than expected. <laughs> Feel free to go home. They're like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> We're, We're here. here. Yeah. It was the same thing I've done. Do they have a beard? I'm sure they asked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She pet the beard. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, it was it was a nice pit stop because they always show the confessionals. You know, like after you know after we check into the leg, then we have to do interviews, and so um, like during the leg, you know, you can see the background of where the pit stop was, where people were doing their final interviews. Uh, and it was, it was gorgeous. It really looked like a green screen. I was there. And I, it looked yeah, like a green I know, I know. I, when they had Todd and Ashley there, it was like golden hour, like perfect timing. And yeah, I was like, did they like reshoot this and have like some fake background? Because it just looked so good. It looked so good. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. it was good leg, good leg overall. Mm -hmm. Fun leg, pretty straightforward. Fourth one in a row. What did we, yeah, we win $5,000, which is nice. Because you actually have to, I think you have to pay for the taxes for the trips that you win. Yeah. So the money that we win is going to help pay for the taxes. Yep, <laughs> it, it gets so offset. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> trip and then money for taxes for trip. Trip and money for taxes. <laughs> yeah, they get offset. Yeah, and so now we're going for a franchise record here, folks. We're going for five in a row this next leg. Uh, we'll see if we can do it in Slovenia. Uh, not Slovenia. That's done. We're going to Sweden. Sweden. Um, which, have you been to Sweden? Not before this, no. Oh, cool. cool but Johnny cool. asked. Johnny went with our mom. With our mom. Yeah, definitely a different trip. With mom, you know, it's cozy, kind of paid for. It was winter. Um, but this one we're working. But it's this a paid for. Yeah, it's, uh, that's true. <laughs> also, <laughs> we're paid for. it's a smaller budget, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, we'll see you on Wednesday. Really excited about this. So grateful to be where we are right now. Um, and we'll see if we can do it. See, see if we can, we can pull do out it. our hats one more time. See you later. See ya.